Hey boys and girls, welcome back to a new video and this is the Amazon Basics 8 sheet cross cut paper shredder. Now this will shred your credit cards and paper. Unfortunately, this is not the model which shreds CDs. So you have to pick a different model if you want that. Anyways, links are down in the video description. This has a capacity of 15 liters. That's the, your bucket here. And in the packaging, we get a user manual and that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is plug this thing in and show you guys its features. There's really not much to it. You just put the paper over here and the shredder will cut it into cross cuts and you'll get rid to end up with something like this. But anyways, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and show you in detail how this thing works. Alright, got the paper shredder plugged in and all you need to do is flick the switch to auto. And I hope you can see. And now whenever you insert a paper over here or a credit card, the shredder will activate automatically. And let me just demonstrate that. So I've got this pieces of paper. I'm gonna fold this and I'm gonna put it in. Now I've done this intentionally just to show you guys that you can actually insert a paper like this and it will work without a problem. And there you go, the shredder turns off. Now this thing has a duty cycle of about three minutes and then it needs rest to cool down for about 30 minutes. But I don't think that three minutes is less because it only turns on whenever you're inserting a sheet or a credit card so three minutes is more than enough and you can see how quickly this thing shreds and those are your cross cut papers yeah this thing is super duper heavy and then on the button here in case something gets stuck you have off and you have reverse now that activates the shredder in the reverse mode but there's your overheat LED. Once you use the shredder for about three minutes continuously, this LED will light up and the shredder will then need time to cool down. It takes about 30 minutes. So I've got a document here. It's just some random stuff I copied off Wikipedia, but this is a double-sided printout and this is a single-sided printout. And you know what? I'm not sure if I should put one sheet and then see how well this thing is readable, but yeah, I'm gonna put both of these sheets and see uh, if it's readable after shredding or not so let's turn this on turn it on auto and you can see I'm putting the sheets here and you'll see how quickly this thing shreds um, yeah. yeah barely takes five seconds to shred and you can actually put eight sheets at a time so five seconds to shred eight sheets and our final result is there so this is what happened to those two pages these are your cross cut shreds and if you had a strip cut shredder these strips won't be cut like this instead you will have an entire uh, page length of strips but yeah these are your cross cut strips these are like medium security type and then you also get a micro cut shredder and these strips that come out of micro cut shredders are six times smaller than these but yeah, i think these are good enough uh, for home and office use Alright guys, I've got 8 sheets of paper, actually 8.5, so let's see if this thing can shred all of these at once. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is a matte photo paper, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a half paper over here, half sheet of paper. This thing is rated for 8 sheets maximum, but yeah, let's see if this thing can shred this set of papers. And I've also got staples here. So there's a staple here. There's a paper clip here. It's a staple here on top. And the reason why I left the paper clip and staples on the paper is because this thing can easily destroy these small paper clips and these staples. And yeah, so the manual does say you can leave these on. Anyway, let's do this. The shredder is set to auto. And I'm just gonna put this thing here. <laughs> So you can see eight and a half sheets did work with the paper clip and uh, those staples but yet yeah, this thing was struggling. So don't put nine, eight and a half or nine sheets, just work with eight or less sheets. But you can see we've got a bunch of shreds down over there. All right, so this is what came out of the shredder. Uh, you cannot make out the picture or whatever text was there. And this thing is more than enough for home and office use and that's our paper clip so the paper clip also got uh, shredded completely 
yeah i kind of feel sad for destroying that paper clip because these paper clips are my favorite but yeah anyways you can see uh, those are our shredded papers now unfortunately i don't have a credit card on hand otherwise i would have shredded a credit card and shown shown it to you guys but this thing will shred credit cards and i guess it will shred credit card in this cross cut fashion but yeah the paper shredder was struggling when i put eight and a half sheets and maybe because there was a matte photo paper that matte photo paper is equal to two sheets uh, of a4 size paper so yeah that thing was thick and this thing will also happily shred these receipts so these are those uh, billing receipts from amazon i'm gonna put these one by one and i've got a bunch of these and i'm just gonna destroy all of these uh, with this paper shredder so uh Let's see. And there she goes. And here's another one. Just want to show the address. And it's gone. So that's an easy way to dispose of all of these receipts. This thing takes no time in destroying them. And I guess if you have a weird size paper, for example, if a paper is bigger than A4, you can just fold it once and then put the paper in here. And this thing won't have a problem shredding that. So when the basket is not installed, this thing will not work. So you can see I'll put this thing inside here, but the shredder will not power on, even though it's set to auto. And even if you set it to reverse, this thing will not turn on. And it has a little switch at the back. So uh, once I install the basket, this thing will work. So let's just do this in one shot. So you guys will be able to see. So yeah, this thing is installed, set it to auto and now works fine that's because it has a little switch at the back so now let me show you the shredder unit from the bottom and yeah that's quite heavy so use both hands don't drop it or anything but yeah that's the shredder unit from the bottom and you can see those teeth down there and if we move on to the back you'll see there is a little switch there so that switch gets depressed whenever you install the basket and that makes the shredder work and when the switch is not depressed the shredder will not work so that's like a safety feature uh, whenever you take the basket out, the shredder will not work. And the manual says you need to oil these blades monthly. So let's take a look at this. Oil these shredder blades every month with basic vegetable cooking or shredder oil. So I'm guessing vegetable oil or cooking oil will also work. And that's how you oil this thing. And no canned air or any aerosol sprays. And guys, you already know my videos are never complete without showing the user guide. So here we go. And just pause the video if you want to read something and I'm recording in 4K so it should be visible but let me just adjust the camera a little bit and hope I think it will be visible. Said it's not really a big user manual I mean this is just a paper shredder and this is the yellow sheet which was on top when I opened the package so it says that you may find some paper shreds because they test the products before they ship it it just says that same thing in different languages and here is the troubleshooting guide once again pause the video if you want to read something this is the top half of the paper and the bottom half and there's nothing printed on the other side. All right guys, so this is the Amazon Basics 8 sheet cross cut paper and credit card shredder. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And once again, if you have any questions about this paper shredder, do feel free to ask me. And I'm kind of sorry I could not do a credit card because I don't have a spare credit card to destroy at this time. But anyway, this thing will shred credit cards. Anyways, guys, catch you next time.